Hi guys, and welcome to another care review. Okay, so as you can see, we're doing something a little bit different today. Okay, so today we're having a look at a kit from Shanghai Dragon. It is in 135th scale, and it is their German pontoon set. Okay, it's part of their 39 to 45 series, and it is literally a stern boat with one crew member, two large rubber rafts, and this section here, which is your pontoon bridging set, okay? So this kit came out in 1999. It is currently, as far as I believe, out of production, okay? So it is quite hard to get. This one cost me $35 Australian. Um, I watched it for about a month or so. I'm denying about buying it. And in the end, at $35, I just went, why not? Okay, so... For those of you who may recognize some of these hearts, okay, this is the stern boat from uh, kit number 6108, which I have already reviewed on the channel. And these are the large rubber rafts, although you get two in this particular kit, all right. That is the same large rubber raft that came out of um, a review I just did recently. Uh, the German large rubber dinghy, number 6109 by, by Dragon. Okay, so the only new thing literally in this kit is this section. But, hey, let's have a look at it anyway. Alright, so on the side you'll see, there we have it, 6109, which I've just done a review of. Dragon's details, the address, etc. On the other side you'll see actual kind of, I guess photos, pictures of the actual kit. So it is a standard pontoon set, okay, with the stern boat, power, and the crew member. So these units here could be used literally to transport uh, small vehicles like Hoover wagons or anti-tank guns, etc., across a river, or pushed into place, a whole set of them would create a bridge with the rafts holding it up across a water crossing okay so that's the box kind of average box art does show you what you're getting but there's nothing spectacular about that okay so let's have a look and see what I got for my $35 all right so as you can see and we'll get rid of the box and there's the instructions Put that over there so you do get your instructions we'll have a look at those shortly you get one bag of two rafts okay plus the string which is the um, grab handle okay you get the sprue of the stern boat with the crew member and the motor on it okay and you get the actual pontoon set which even now I can see it has some really nice wood grain, rough wood grain texturing on it. Okay, so even if you didn't use the others, you could use this for a small bridge. If you could find a couple of these, okay, you could even create a, a, a decent bridge across a water crossing for your diorama. Okay, so put those aside and in a second we will have a look at these instructions. Okay, so let's have a look at the instructions. So, sprue layouts on the front, okay. It does say times two because you do get two of those. It does say times two because you do basically get enough to construct a pontoon which covers both those rubber dinghies. On the other side, you've got usual warnings, uh, recommended instructions, etc. These are your recommended paints. They are only in Gunsang Yu Aquas Hobby and Mr. Color. Okay, so uh, use your preferred paint manufacturer for correct coloring. Okay, fairly straightforward. Step one is literally, and it doesn't even show you putting the two halves of the rubber raft together or the um, in, insert going in, but these are just your rope handles, etc. going on. 
and your string. Um, you may want to have a look around for some better looking string. This is okay, but it's just okay. All right, that's all I can say about that. All right, so that's your rubber raft going together. Next step is constructing your pontoon section. Okay, and you do have enough parts to construct two of these, as you can see. Not two, but two full lengths. All right, fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Um, this would be in a newly cut wood color. You can weather it and stuff like this, but most of the time, all of these pontoons, etc., were sourced. The wood and timber was sourced locally, cut locally, very fresh. All right, be a very rare thing, uh, at, at least at the beginning of a water crossing, for them to use an old pontoon set. Okay, they literally cut it, built it as they needed. Okay, fairly straightforward. All right. Not much to it, simple construction. All right, as you can see, this is a fold out section, so it does have your pontoon, your bottom parts that support on the rubber rafts. Then it skips around a bit, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. Here is six, just showing you how the pontoon section goes on the rafts. Then you construct your stern boat, all right. Again, fairly straightforward, fairly easy construction. This is the motor, propeller shaft, etc. There are some good references on uh, the interweb. Shows you the correct colouring of all these parts. So I would definitely go for those. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. And on the back, just shows you painting and markings. There are no markings on this. It's a rubber raft with a timber pontoon. Uh, bridge section on it there really is no markings to go on here they didn't have markings on these and the last is literally your uh, operator for the stern boat okay fairly simple construction no uh, equipment accessories this guy was literally on the boat you could if you wanted to throw a K98 rifle or something like this in the boat with him because I'm pretty sure if I was operating one of those I'd want something to defend myself with and that's it fairly simple straightforward instructions so in a second we'll have a look at the actual sprues okay so let's have a look at the sprues first off I'll show you this is the string that's provided okay as the grab handles on the rubber boats all right it's okay but it's possibly a little bit too fine i'm not sure yet i will have a look around and see if i can find something a little bit more dirtier or perhaps i may just um, soak this in some wash or something to give it a bit more character okay so that's your string. So let's have a look. You do get two duplicate sprues of the rubber raft. Okay, so I'll put this one aside. And you guys who've seen my earlier reviews on the rubber raft will recognize this straight away. So you've got your bottom, you've got your top, okay. These are all your rope handles, etc. That the grab rope goes through, and this is the bottom section that goes in here. Okay, so really nice detail. Okay, I can't fault them on the detail. Right, there's no flash that I can see, no obvious flash. And the join line, well, there would be a join line probably on this rubber raft anyway. But when I put these together, I'll have a look and see if it needs filling or not. This is the bottom, as you can see. So that is really nice. I do like the detail. I do like the detail on these grab handles, rope handles, etc. Okay. There is a lot of them, but it won't be very hard to stick those on. Just a bit of patience. 
So this is the actual bottom of it. Turn it over and this is the actual inside bit where your soldiers etc would stand. All right so once that's painted up really nice wash on that will come up really nicely. Okay so that's the rubber raft okay fairly simple fairly straightforward and as I said that was in kit number 6109. All right so next Okay, so let's have a look at the next crew, and that is actually this one. This is your Sturmboat, okay? This was, was, I should say, this is uh, kit number 6108, right, which I've already reviewed. I think I did it last year, I think. All right, so it's always already on the channel. As you can see, you've got your boat, hull, complete, one piece. This is the duck boards that go inside. Right, these are your, I think, barge boards, so to speak. Propeller shaft, motor parts, crew member, okay, more motor parts, etc. Really nice references on the interweb for colouring these. They're basically steel, plain aluminium, okay. Let's turn her over. So she does have detail on the inside. This will need to be painted first before you put the insert in. Now you'll see there are molding areas on here. You won't have to clean those up because this is actually the bottom part. You won't even see those, okay? So a little bit of clean up along the mold lines for the figure. But apart from that, that's your boat hull. Let's have a look at him. Detail on the uniform. I'll turn it around. Detail on the uniform is okay. There are no equipment accessories. No weapon pouches, no water bottles, nothing. So you could actually, if you wanted to, throw those into the boat itself. Especially a weapon, K98 or something. All right. Because if I was piloting one of these, I definitely want something to shoot back at anyone shooting at me. Let's have a look at his face. It's okay. All right, this is a 1999 kit, so it is quite old. So if you had a spare resin head or something like that, you might want to replace it. It's also going to be a big kit, right? So that is your boat hull. Okay, so we'll put that there, and this is literally what it's going to look like, all right? This will take up a fair bit of shelf space, all right? So imagine two rafts, you've got your pontoon section, bridge section over here, and there's your boat, all right? So that's going to be quite a large shelf filler. Okay, and last but not least, okay? Well, actually, this least, this last. Um, this is your pontoon bridge section. Duplicated sprues, okay? So I'll get rid of one. And this is, naturally enough, the main section. You've got main supports. These are the pieces that go onto the actual rubber rafts to hold the whole thing up. These are your railing supports and your railing. Okay, as you can see, really nice coarse wooden 
texture on here and also on the beams okay so everything's got a really nice coarse wooden texture i do like that because like i said this would be freshly cut timber it wouldn't be old timber if it had been in use for quite a while you know, yes it would be aged but um basically the engineers would cut local timber or whatever was available or fairly local anyway to throw out one of these as quickly as possible after that they might pull it apart or just dump it or just burn it okay if they were in retreat everybody was across they would probably just burn this but most of the time this was new cut timber so weathering would be down to a minimum i think the rubber rafts and things would be fairly weathered because they reuse those but these not necessarily okay so and that is it that is dragons dragon shanghai german pontoon set okay kit number 6135 came out in 1999 yes it is out of production but as you can see it's still available because i got this one for 35 bucks so it's just a matter of keeping an eye out if you really want one of these quite a large kit quite a simple kit to put together most of the time would be probably spent in painting it but apart from that i do like this i do like this i just have to find enough space on the shelf for it okay that brings us to the end of this review i hope you found something interesting in it thank you for your likes your comments and your subscriptions they're always appreciated and as always guys until next time stay safe stay well and i will see you later